All right, g'day everyone. Let's have a chat about some crane signals. All right, so there's three main ways that the, you're going to communicate with a crane operator. You're going to use hand signals, you're going to use whistle signals, and the two-way radio. Okay, now we'll cover the hand and whistle signals to start with, and then we'll have a bit of a chat about the radio. Okay, so first thing, when we're talking about the whistle signals, you've got to make sure they're nice and loud. Right. The crane driver has to hear it over the uh, motor. Right. May have his door shut with the aircon on. So they've got to be nice and loud so the crane driver can hear you. All right, so we'll run through them one at a time. The first one is the most important one, is stop. So the hand signal for stop is your hand up to your side like that. And the whistle signal is just one short blast. So, nice and short. Okay, now try and make sure all your hand signals are to the side of your body. Okay, so if you've got the sun behind you and your hands are in front of you, the crane driver can't see what they're doing. So make sure they're always out to the side. All right, so the next signal is going to be rope up. Okay, now there's some different terminology you may hear. Some people may say rope up, they may say um, up on the wire, hook up. It all means you want your hook to go up. All right, so the hand signal, is like that and the whistle signal is two short blasts so. it's going to be rope up all right if you want them to rope up slowly you blow the whistle a little bit slower and draw it out a little bit so. and then it'll go up a little bit slower okay next one we're going to do is boom up all right so boom up Right, can also be referred to as jib up or luff up, and the hand signal is like that. So boom up, one way to remember it is three to the tree. So three short and you boom up to the trees. Right, is boom up. Once again, if you want to do something slowly, go. Right, and it'll bring it up that little bit slower. Next one we're going to do is boom down, which is four to the floor. Okay, so with boom down, if you're blowing four whistles, it's always good to pair them together. It makes it easier for the crane driver to know what you're going to be blowing. So you'll go. Okay, so that's four to the floor. Once again, you want to do something slower, you stretch it out. Okay. then he'll boom down that little bit slower for you. Okay, next one we're gonna do is uh, down on the wire, or hook down, or rope down. Okay, now the hand signal is like that. Okay, just across your body like that. Okay, and it is gonna be one long. That's okay, next one we're gonna do is slew left. Now when you're blowing slew left, right, it is the crane operator's left. So if the load I'm picking up is over there, which is my right, that's the crane driver's left. So I'll point to where I want it to go and I'll blow left. And left is one long, one short, makes an L for left. So. Just like that, okay? Slew right, once again, it is the crane operator's right. So if the load's over there, my left, crane operator's right. So I'll blow right so the crane operator knows which way we're going. Okay, now obviously you're not using hand and whistle signals at the same time. Okay, you're using the whistle signals if you can't see you, and you use your hand signals if you can. Okay, so if I'm using hand signals, I won't even worry about the direction, I'll just point wherever I want them to go. So over there, or over there but when you're blowing the whistles or you're talking on the two-way you need to remember it's the crane operators left and the crane operators right okay so the next one we're going to do is to tally out okay to extend the boom now we don't extend the boom on most slewing cranes in most circumstances so this is more if you're going to be working with a frenner or a tally handler or something along those lines all right so there's a few variations on hand signals all right one we're taught is that one, like that, 
personally don't like that one because it is a lot harder to see and people do tend to get confused with them. Right? You can go like that, okay? The problem with that is sometimes you need one hand free on the load, okay? So another couple more variations, you can go like that for boom out, okay? Or with the front out, you could just go like that to extend the boom. Right, now the whistle signal is going to be one long and three short. So that's Okay, all right. Now we're going to suck it back in. So it's going to be one long and four to the floor to suck it back in. So once again, hand signal can be like that. It can be like that. Okay, you can go like that, which does make it a bit harder when you've got gloves on for people to see it. Okay, or you could just go like that for him to do it back in. All right, everybody has their own preferences, all right, but whatever works for you and the crane driver. All right, so because we're blowing one long and four short, once again, we're going to pair the four together. Okay, and that's to suck it back in. Okay, so there are your basic whistle signals. Now, there are a few variations. If you want him to boom up and rope down at the same time, right? you can go like that as a hand signal and you'll blow the boom up signal followed by the rope down. So it'll be <coughs> All right, and that means he's gonna float the load back towards himself and keep it at that height. Okay, now if you want to boom down and rope up, you can go like that with your hands and you'll blow the boom down and then the rope up. So that'd be So you can distinguish the different sounds between them. Okay? Okay, now let's have a chat about the two-way. Now with the two-way radio, right, it has a tendency to always cut off the beginning of what you say. Alright, so don't if you panic and go, stop, he's not gonna hear anything. Okay, so good idea is to press the button for a second and then whatever you want, say it twice. So, okay, stop, stop. So if it does cut out the first bit, you'll still hear the second, right? So anything you say, try and say it twice. So it could be boom up, boom up, slew left, slew left, slew right, slew right. Okay, and that way the crane operator is always going to hear at least one version of that. Okay, all right, well, thanks for listening. All right, got any questions? Uh, just leave it in the comments. Okay, thanks.